Look who's here. It's Beezus. Praise Beezus. <laughs> Praise oh. Beezus and pass the mashed potatoes. Our favorite local demigod. Hardly. But we love you. They're more like local demigorgon. <laughs> well, I haven't turned to stone yet. Fair. <laughs> well, look what's in the bubble. All I see is a bubble because of the well, glare. Well, get close to the bubble and push your eyes against it. <laughs> Look at this. That's Biddy. <laughs> oh no. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not. It's a boy. I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. It could still be a female. Females do it too. Look at her. Yeah. That color looks even better in person. Doesn't it? The photos don't do it justice. No, it doesn't. Photos or video don't do it justice. It doesn't. Not at all. And plus, the video filters and stuff really make the color all kinds of weird. But we're probably going to set her free today, too, so you can get a really good look at her. Because she is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of hard some, oh, to see a little bit through the glare. Kind of have to. Yeah, you got to press your eyes against it. Or close the garage door a bit. <laughs> Could do that, too. Help with my glasses, but. but this is the car capsule. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Did you watch Delmont? Not. Delmont threw himself at it. And, I uh, saw that picture. Well, he it. bounced off and hit the ground. Yeah? Because he's stupid. <laughs> but we're done testing it with the heavy objects anymore, just because if there is going to be any weird random failure, let's go ahead and save it for the accident rather than the deliberate. <laughs> Welcome back to the Midday Mail Call and the Midday Q&A. I'm your host, the Duck Man. <laughs> And this is... Beam Queen. And this is... Boomer. <laughs> this is... Of course, we gotta have some V8 going down the road making all kinds of noise while I'm recording a video. That's just the way it goes. Well, we got one really, really big question that keeps coming up, and it's been asked repeatedly. People want to know about Eleanor's tent, or bubble, if you will. One of the first questions is, is just how long is that thing gonna stay inflated in the event that the power goes out? Well, let's find out. Got a clock behind me set up over here. While we're recording this video, you guys will get to see exactly how long it takes to deflate. But there it is. You can see it's slowly melting. Ah, it's melting! Oh, it's a copyright infringement! I'm melting! I don't think so. I don't think there's copyrights on it anymore. I think it's too old. You might write to public yeah, domain I think now. The Wizard, I yeah, I think the Wizard of Oz might be public, public domain. Down below in the video comments, you guys say, you know, I'm sure somebody out there knows or research. Type it in down below. Of course, we'll love to see. Boomer right here has got himself a gift. Yes, he did, didn't you? It was his birthday a couple days ago. Boomer is now six years old. I can't believe he's been with me for six years. And what's also funny about that is while Boomer was still just a duckling, that's when Eleanor came into my life. So right about the same time, these two first popped up. All right, Mr. Boom. Well, B, anything new with you? Nothing worth talking about on camera. Nothing worth talking about on camera. <laughs> if you hear the crowing behind us, that's actually the first time I'm catching Biddy making a little bit of a noise on camera. Biddy is, we still don't know if she's, or he, is a rooster yet, but it does an awful lot of crowing. The crowing used to sound very drunk before, like when a hen crows, but at this point it's starting to get a little more shrill and higher pitch, and that's more like a rooster. So I guess we'll see. Now, Biddy is still very, very sweet, very loving, and knows who Daddy is, and you humping too much. Stop that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and open up some mail. So please, licky likey, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to pluck the dingle belly so that way you get updates every time I upload a video. Check out duckshit.net for all of our different social media links. B's got some stuff up there. I got some stuff up there. And hey, even Boomer's got a page. Check him out up on Skeeter the Duck and Friends. Right, Mr. Boom? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll be back right after the intro. What do you think of it so far? Uh, so far, I think it's good. Um, I don't like where they oriented the zippers. There's two zippers, one on each side, which kind of makes sense, right? Right. But you would think that they would start them in a corner somewhere, right? They don't. Oh. They start in the middle. Yeah, tell me about how dumb that is. I haven't contacted their uh, support yet, but I'm gonna drop a little note in their ear because I could have just left one side zipped, right? Throw the bubble over and pull the zipper around and be done. Instead, I have to go on a side that I can't get into 
and try to pull it, which is why I have that cord on it. Smart. So I can pull it back, which is difficult because it tends to bunch up and just wad up. So I have to get back there and free it up. But anyway, I got a new plan for this and I haven't really told anybody about it yet. But this is the frame that's gonna go around the top of it that's gonna suspend it from the ceiling. So okay. when I let the air out, it still stays up. Okay. So that way I can still pull the zipper so they only have to unzip the end of it, perhaps the first 25% or so, and then roll the bubble up and over it. So I should be able just to drive the car into it, which would be really nice. <laughs> like a decontamination station. Kinda, yeah, kinda. From a container. That's it. Perfect. I actually would work really well. Bubble bug. Bubble 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 bug. Bubble bug. Bubble 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 bug. Bee's been squatting. Have you? Have. It's showing. Is it? It's showing. Oh my, it's yeah. showing. No, it did it, it yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up guys. Leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up if you think that bee looks pretty good there with all the squats. Check that out. My word, no, that looks great. You no, know, and I finally deadlifted two hundred pounds unbelted for the nice. first time. Nice. Nice. You're actually Trainers, resembling huh? Eleanor. I don't think I could ever resemble it. You may not like it, but this is what peak perfection looks like. Yeah, that turned out really awesome. Really awesome. Great job, Earl. Yes. Thank you, Earl. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, uh, oh, geez, I forget all the names now. Right now, Lee. Uh, I believe there's somebody named Robert also. I didn't get to meet him. But, uh, yeah, there were, there were many players involved in this one. And, of course, I built the original design, and Earl... Depixelated it. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the best the way edges. to put it. Yeah, he depixelated yeah. it. He made it smooth, <laughs> and that was a lot of work on his part. And as you know, it was gone for a little over two and a half years. The videos were great, showing some of the detail work. Oh, they were did. fantastic! Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. But we'll roll it out of the bubble for the next video. But for now, we're going to leave it where it's at because we're going to test a couple things. Oh. Yes. I got to ask some questions about this thing, so we're going to uh, perform a couple of tests here in the Q and A video. Oh. All right. I'm ready. All right. Why do you have a creepy, like, zombie baby doll around? Oh, you don't know about zombie baby? Zombie baby, you can pick this up. It's just paint. It's not dirt. It's just paint. <laughs> I have some questions. It's, it's meant to look hard. It's it's actually was, well, it is a character on my YouTube channel, has been for about the last 12 years. You don't know about Zombie Baby, really? Nah, I've never seen it in any of your videos. Well, Zombie Baby was a baby we found in the trash and we rescued it, and it was a zombie. And then it attacked me. <laughs> you can't watch these the must videos. be older videos. Oh, these are way older videos. Oh, it's yeah, like 12 years ago. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> I'll send you some links on that. And for those of you that are watching, I'll put a little clip right here in the video. <laughs>
What's gonna cut it? I've taken all the junk out of the garage that's gonna fall down. Everything that's on that shelf is vacuum sealed, kind of, because when the tent blows up, it pushes everything into this, the shelf. Nothing can even fall. It can't fall. It's not logically possible, unless there's an earthquake. But if there's an earthquake or hurricane and the whole house starts shaking apart, I, I can assure you that no other car cover is gonna handle it. Because you the, got bigger problems. Yeah, the best coverage for it is probably insurance. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have Haggerty, and Haggerty's not running a commercial, but I do have Haggerty up on this car. And uh, based on the values of this car going up so much, I'm going to have to change my insurance coverage on this car because it's <laughs> it's worth a whole lot more now than it used to be. And it's not just because of what we've done to it, but also because of the market. The market has increased by something like 50% in just the last few months. And this, this car, believe it or not, in concourse condition, and it's not going to be concourse because it's not stock. So that's what throws it off. It's not stock. It is a custom. So it'll be somewhere between Concourse and Excellent, and that's a, a range between $55,000 and $82,000 on this car when it's assembled and it's all together. So to me, that's just, I figured 50000 tops. No, but that's the estimated fair market value for a car like that. Believe it or not, your Ghia is also somewhere in the eight to $9,000 range right now in the condition it's in. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. You stole that from me. <laughs> Eight or nine thousand dollars in the condition that it's in, without paint. As soon as you put a good coat of paint on, just a good coat of paint, like rattle can, make it look nice. It goes up to like twelve thousand dollars, potentially possible for that car That's with an engine. Of course, you gotta have an engine. Owned. But in concourse condition, it's like a thirty-five thousand dollar car. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna push it that hard, but you are sending to Earl. He did say you want to send it over there, and if Earl does the paint work on it, I assure you, it's going to be beautiful, and it'll be somewhere in that range. <laughs> but you do want to drive it. Yeah. Concourse cars are not driven regularly. They're typically put away in, in a, a bubble <laughs> with all kinds of climate control. And I think it's just starting to touch Eleanor's roof on the right-hand side. Time check. There's a clock. I don't know what it actually started out at because we didn't read it in the beginning, so I have to go back and look at the video. But you guys are watching, you know. But now it's in contact with the car, but it's still not deflated yet. There's still a lot of air left in here. So if I threw an object at it, it would probably bounce off sands the 20 pound dumbbell or the 250 pound dumbbell and hit it after that <laughs> that was delmont i will have to watch yeah that. that big stupid delmont idiot right boomer right boomer yeah you're a good boy well you got some birthday gifts yes. we see something here it's addressed to you it's fun you want to open up that one first all right this is, all right it's to boomer but we don't really know where it came from well it's, it says it's amazon. amazon all over it but maybe there's a note inside of there do yeah. i feel your wiener poking out are you gonna have to censor that? I don't know. Anybody want to see a duck dilly? Dilly dilly. Let me see a, what a is note. No, no notes. No, no. no, no notes at all. It's mealworms. Oh, I hate when Amazon does that. There's nothing stuck to it at all. No. Nothing at all. Is that something there? Nope. 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 Let's just. Oh, bummer. Bummer. Yeah. Bummer. Well, whoever sent this gift, um, thank you. Show what it is. It's mealworms. Look, it's mealworms. You want some of that? Ooh, he's looking. Ooh, and he's smacking his gums. He doesn't have teeth, so I guess he doesn't really have gums, but. <laughs> Slap his beak. But he will be eating these for sure. We'll be putting it up in his, oh, nice. They put a dog on it, even though it's mealworms. Do your dogs eat mealworms? Uh, I think they've tried, yeah. What do they think of that? They like them. They do, I mm -hmm. imagine they're a little salty. Protein. Yeah, there you go. I mean, they eat For those of you so. that eat mealworms, there's a, there's a dog on here. <laughs> Thank you once again, whoever sent Boomer the birthday gift. Boomer didn't get a whole lot of gifts this year because, well, we didn't ask for them for one thing, but we did announce a birthday party up on uh, Facebook, but it was just an online party, you know, just to show the boy a little respect and that we love him, even though he doesn't get on Facebook a whole lot. No, you sure don't. Okay. Nope, you sure don't. You don't even have a job. You should go out and get a job, make money. Skeeter made money. What a free When are you going to make some money, huh? When are you going to make some money? You'll make no money. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. All right, what we got? Another gift. Next one? Yeah. From uh, Jay Smith. Jay Smith. Jay Smith. From where? England. England. Mm -hmm. So this one came from across the pond. Yes. Ew. 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 You got there, Boom. Come on. Are you scared of that? The package won't hurt you, I promise. Oh, you didn't like that sound? That's what I said to her. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That's the sticky bit, though. Shred that shit. Yeah. Come on, rip it. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Oh, no. it just comes off in pieces. Rub it, rub it, rub it. 
I feel like a frog now. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. All right, there ribbit, we go. Ribbit, ribbit. Yeah, I found the seam. <laughs> oh. Oh, good fucking boy. You're getting dusty. Are you finally gonna start losing some feathers? It looks like he's ready to start molting. I think there might be the new one growing in. His feathers are in such terrible shape. All right, let's read. Oh, we got a note. Oh, a note. A newt. A newt. A newt. A newt. Where are you going, boo? It says, hey, Glenn. So I was watching you unpack the fuel tank and you said that you'd misplaced the cap. So I got you one and a gasket for it. I oh, really wow. hope it's the right one. We haven't heard anything of B for a while. Hope things are okay here. <laughs> I, you're not watching my channel. Yeah, she's been in other videos too over here even, mm -hmm. so. Speaking of which, or we don't know how long this took to get here. Cause I did oh, take a true. hiatus, so that's that is true. true. He did mention when he sent it. I talked to him in private actually, but uh, I don't see a date on there, do I? I can't read it anyway. Some postmaster person put the date on there. Oh, there's another one. 127. So it was about a week ago. Yeah, okay. About a week ago. So I have been around since then. But anyway. And it actually arrived pretty quickly because it's been sitting in my mailbox for a while. That's impressive. Yeah. They're coming over the ocean. Been there all week. All right. Uh, speaking of which, as you might know, Gia was in styling. Gia was a styling house. A styling house used by Volkswagen mm -hmm. back in the day. More recently, Gia was used by Ford of Europe for their top range of cars. I saw these front fender badges and thought of you. The style of wording is almost the same. Looking forward to seeing future progress on Eleanor. John S. Thanks, John. You're very, very close on the Gia story. If I'm not mistaken, oh. Gia was the design house for Carmen. And Carmen is the coach building company that made all the convertible Volkswagens and such, you know, Beetles and turned them into all the, the even the, the Carmen Gia convertible Carmen. But that's how the name came to be because Gia designed the car for Carmen, who coach built it for a Volkswagen. Oh. And did you just shit? Oh, you poopied. You poopied on the table. But anyway, as I understand it, Kia designed a car for Carmen, and then Carmen built it for Volkswagen as a coach build. They actually made the bodies, and then they stuck them right on the chassis that came from Volkswagen. Well, what do you show in there? These what are that? the fender badges. Are those for you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen fender badges like that before. I wonder what generation that is. Maybe they're customs. It said... Um, ba, 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 ba. I saw these front fatter, fender badges and thought of you. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. It's usually it has um, a, sh well, it's a shield shape. We will have to go look at the uh, the gear and see what it looks like on there. Because yeah. there's a little, it's like a hole on the side, an indentation, and they press into it. Oh, that's what that's for. Yeah, they actually just stick into it. Okay. I, I believe I have the originals that came off of that car. Oh, what do we got? Gas cap. Look at that. Yeah, actually, that looks like it might be right. That's one of them big ass gas caps. Ass gas. Ass gas. You said there was a gasket in there. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Did it make it? Is it in there? Uh oh. Everybody gasket didn't make it. <laughs> nope, looks nope. like the gasket didn't make it. Oh well. Yeah, it may have fallen out. That's not a big deal. I can order up one of those. But I believe that is the right cap. That looks to be about the right size. We will stick it on Eleanor before this video is over, though. That's awesome. Volkswagen logo. A little banged up just like mine was, which is great. And whenever it turns up, I'll have two caps. Thanks, John. You know what I've been thinking about doing to, to Eleanor's trunk area? Oh, God. You know, everything's blown away. I want to copper plate everything. Did I you see that? Yeah, I did. I want to copper plate everything. All the nuts and bolts of hardware that you see all copper plated. I want to take yeah. the, the uh, VIN number badge and copper plate it. And I might even go so far as copper plating the gas cap. Do it. 
That way it'll have a nice patinaed, not green patinaed, from being touched all the time. It'll probably turn red or purple. I didn't realize Boomer's butt was facing the camera, but he's got his head buried in my armpit. I mean, he already pooped. He should be okay. Oh, he's... oh is it cold? Yeah, he's snuggling. He's snuggling. But anyway, yeah, I'm thinking I'll probably copper coat the gas cap and a few other things under the, under the, the hood. The um, hood release cable also normally goes through a, a steel tube. I think I'm going to run a copper one through that also. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Now, whether or not to use the cable will be up to me. I may actually just uh, use electric and have it pop. And I'll hide all the controls and the wires and everything because I don't want all that stuff visible. Little feet. Little feet are showing. <laughs> You're being a good boy right what now. Yeah. You're so cuddly. Being a good boy. I kind of have him in a restraint hold too. Because he's on camera and people are watching. That could be. Nobody just tries to get away. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'll put me back down. I want to go in my box and swim in the pool and all this other crap. Huh? Truthfully, he's a good boy. He's just very defiant. Like my Instagram video. Did you watch that? Which one? Where he's running around on the bed with me. Yes. <laughs> the birthday one. Yeah. Yeah. With Queen uh, playing in the background, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It's only three words. Anybody can say that. <laughs> there you go, good boy. Okay. Well, we're gonna wrap up this video. So, linky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to plug those single bells that we get updates every time I upload a video. Another noisy ass truck. Ass truck. <laughs> yeah, ass truck. And don't forget to hit up DuckShit.net for all of our different social media links. You'll find B stuff, you'll find my stuff, and you'll find Mr. Boom stuff. You'll also find some stuff for Biddy the Chicken up there. Yeah. And, and Caroline and her babies also, Tezzy and the LC. We get a little more videos of them. People have been asking about them. And everybody's in good shape. Everybody's safe. I'll tell you what, it's a lot more work having seven birds now. I bet. You should just have Skeeter. I might have seven birds. Uh, four chickens, one duck, and two cockatiels that I inherited from Dad. Boomer's looking up now, too. Hawk must still be up there. Bird dad. <laughs> That's it. I'm a bird dad. Single a bird, bird dad. father. Yeah. I'm a bird father. <laughs> this. On the day of my duck's wedding. Gotta go have a mouthful of marbles when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, say bye, Mr. Boom. The, the doom bucket. The doom bucket. Look at him. The doom bucket. There he is, doing bucket. <laughs> Alright, look at that. That cover is uh, deflating itself and it's in contact with the beetle now, but it's still not quite absolutely flat. I think we're right at about 20 minutes. I'll put the time up on the screen when it actually is if you guys hadn't been paying attention. But uh, yeah, it's sitting the way it is. And honestly, I think it's it's safe. It's safe. If something did fall on it that was heavy or pointy, yeah, it's going to leave a dent in it, but same with any other car cover. But if something did hit it right now, it would probably, you know, be pushed away from the car because of how it's draping. Now, of course, there's not going to be a floor jack that falls out of the attic hatch or something right directly onto the roof on this thing, because if I was that kind of person to put a floor jack up in the attic, then I'm just a moron, and I probably deserve something like that to happen. <laughs> I was going to say, if you have a floor jack in your attic, I have questions. Yeah, that, that would just be just absolute stupidity. Anyways, I guess that about wraps this one up. We're going to put some air back in this thing. Go ahead, do the honors. Look at this here. Yeah, plug it. Oh, you missed. I did. And may the blowjob commence. <laughs> Time check. There we go. Waiting for the air to fill back up. Hey, right, reinflated. We got a little sidetracked though, and uh, we didn't get to see what the actual time was, but uh, it filled up pretty quick. Either way, it's safe. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs>